I'm Sarah Lee, this is Music Library TV, asking you, what's behind the music? So, today we're going to go over rhythms. Rhythms, how do we notate and denote how long a note lasts? That's what a rhythm is, right? You can hold a note like this, ah, uh, and you can hold a note like this, ah, uh, and like this, ah, uh, right? We have to be able to write down the duration, the time, how long is the note going to last? And in order to do that, what we have to do is talk about uh, notes and how long they last. So, let's talk about notes. This is what's called a whole note. This is what's called a half note. This, filled in like this, you'll see it on the stack written like this, or like this, is called a quarter note. Down here, we have an eighth note. Uh, I'm going to write eighth note. And here, we're going to have a 16th note. That's, I'll just write it like this. That's as far as we're going to get today. Now, what does that mean? Whole note, eighth note, quarter note, 16th note, uh, and eighth note. Um, when we talk about rhythm and duration, a whole note, let's say, equals four beats. We haven't gotten to our time signatures yet. We'll do that. I'll do that as the next lesson. But if a whole note equals four beats, then a half note equals two beats, and a quarter note equals one beat, and an eighth note equals half of one beat, and a sixteenth note equals a quarter of one beat. So here's how it goes. You could say then that one whole note equals two half notes equals four quarter notes equals eight eight notes which also equals sixteen Sixteenth notes. Now, when we write notes uh, together like this, you'll see you'll, you'll see that the tail of the note. So here, the tail of the sixteenth note has two little tails on it, right? Makes sense. Stems we call them, not tails, but call it whatever you want. It's always the same thing, right? So these stems, when we put them together, are connected together like this. So sixteenth note has two stems. Eighth note has one, uh, quarter notes have none, and half notes and whole notes have none. They don't exist, right? And this is how we tell the difference between different notes. So, now you know how long these rhythms last. So, if you see this, you should know that's a whole note. If you see this, you should know that's a quarter note. If you see two of these, you'll know. Look at that. It's got two tails, two uh, flats, two stems, whatever you you know want to call these flats, really. Tails. Sixteenth uh, note. All right. You see this? That's a half note. And lastly. I don't think we did an eighth note. You see this? That's an eighth note. You see two of these together, one flag just like that, also an eighth note. So if we're going back to our other lessons, say we're in the oops, treble clef, then this is, remember, F-A-C, because it's in the space, right? So F-A-C-E, our space is in the treble clef, this is going to be a C. A C lasting the duration of an eighth note, the duration of one eighth of a four four bar, and we'll get to what a four four bar is, and we'll get to time signatures next time. But
But here, F, A, C, E, so we're going to have two eighth notes that are E, two E eighth notes. Sound good? This is Music Made Simple. This is What's Behind the Music. I'm Sarah Lee for musiclibrarytv.com. See you next time.